Tina, and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the Hobbit melody from the Lord of the Rings movies and the Hobbit movies. It's entitled Concerning Hobbits and it's by Howard Shore and it's really pretty. The one that I'm adapting for today is the opening of The Demolition of Smaug. There's a really pretty clarinet solo of the Hobbit theme there and it just I had to continue it and then wrap it up otherwise we just keep going and going and going. That version of it has the strings pick it up also. So it is going to go over the break, so it's an intermediate level video, and we're gonna start here on an E. So you just have your thumb down, and then your index finger right there for an E, lift up your thumb for the F sharp, and the G sharp is this one right here, but you're gonna to wanna to play it with the side of your finger because you're going to land on a B natural. You don't need to put this pinky down here if you don't want to, but you can, it's okay. So. B, the B goes like this. You've got an F register key, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then the B. And then you're going to go back to that G sharp, back to the F sharp, and back to the E. So it's the same notes up and down. Now, go back to the G sharp. You're gonna go over the break to the B. I'm gonna use this B here because then I'm gonna do a C sharp right there. I have my C sharp. You're gonna lift up for an E natural, drop for a D sharp. Then you have the B, G sharp on the side, and you're gonna land on an F sharp right there. but we had B this way on the way up and B this way on the way down because when you go from D sharp, you're stuck using this B right here. All right, you're gonna do that first phrase again. So E, F sharp, G sharp, B natural over the break, G sharp on the side, F sharp, and then you land on that E. the same thing here but we're gonna have a change so you have G sharp B natural if you want to you can use this one here and then C sharp right here and it's hard to see it but it's that lower level and the one closest to your ring finger and then go back to the B and then the G sharp let's just do that much stay on the G sharp and then you're going to do a little embellishment here. A, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E. So it's still landing on that G, F sharp, E that we did before, but we're putting a little decoration in there. So it'll sound like this. So slowly. It's killing me to lift up my fingers that high. You're going to want to keep them close, but sometimes it's hard to see the fingerings I'm doing when they're too high up. I'm going to play it straight through so you can hear it all together and see all the fingers together at the same time. Here we go. Thanks for watching, comments, questions, post them below.